Hey everyone! Welcome to today's tutorial. Ever wondered how to quickly get Jupyter Notebook up and running for your Python projects? By the end of this video, you'll have Jupyter installed and ready to create your very first notebook. But before we get started with Jupyter, you'll need to have Python installed on your system. So now to install Python, first simply go to Favorite Browser, go to Search over here, dot type Python Download, and hit Enter. And that going to show you this www.python.org as a first search result. So go to this Download Python, and that going to redirect to the official site of Python. So this link I'm going to provide right in our description. Once you are here, you'll be able to see this latest version of Python, that is Python version 3.12.7, is available to download, and we are downloading it for Windows. Then you need to download the XE for Windows. You need to just simply click on this download button, and it's going to start downloading Python. You can see it is rightly started. Please wait for the download to complete. Once it's finished, Simply click on the downloaded file to start the installation process, and that will show you this installation wizard of our Python. So here you need to check this addpython.exe to path, and also you need to check these user admin privileges when installing, and after that you need to click on custom installation. So here, all options are automatically selected for you. Just simply click on next. Under Advanced Options, you need to select this Install Python 3.1 tool for all users and all other things you can keep default and click on Install. So that's going to ask you for administrative privileges. Click on Yes and there you go. You can see that our installation is rightly begin. So it will take a couple of minutes. Now as you can clearly see that our Python setup was successful. So you can just simply click on Close. Let's make sure Python is installed properly. Start by opening your command prompt. You can easily find it by typing cmd in the start menu. Once you're in, type python space dash dash version and hit enter. If everything's set up right, you should see the Python version pop up on the screen. Next up, let's check if pip is installed. Just type pip space dash dash version and hit enter. If you see a version number, you're all set. Now it's time to install Jupyter Notebook. In your command prompt, type pip install Jupyter and press enter. This will download and install Jupyter Notebook for you. All right, let's make sure everything is installed properly. Go ahead and type Jupyter space dash dash version into your terminal and hit enter. If everything is set up right, you'll see the version number. But when I tried it, I got an error saying Jupyter wasn't recognized as a command. Let's fix this. Move up in the terminal. And in here, you can see the destination folder. What you need to do is select the entire path and press Ctrl plus C to copy it. Next, go to the search bar at the bottom of your screen, type environment variables, and click on it when it appears. In the window that pops up, look for the Environment Variables button at the bottom and click on it. In the new window, find Path, just double click on it. Just click New and then press Ctrl plus V to paste the path you copied earlier, which is pointing to the Jupyter Scripts folder. After that, click OK to save everything, close the windows, and you're done. Now reopen the terminal, type Jupyter space, dash, dash version again and this time it should work perfectly. Now you see the version number. Congratulations, you're ready to roll. Let's start working with Jupyter. I'll be creating my folder on the desktop, but feel free to create it wherever you prefer. For this demo, I'll name my folder Jupyter Notebook. Once your folder is created, simply open it, then right-click anywhere inside the folder and select Open in Terminal. This opens the terminal directly in the folder. Super convenient, right? Now, type Jupyter Notebook and hit Enter. Your default browser will open up with the Jupyter interface. Now, click on New in the top right corner and select Python 3. A fresh new notebook will open and you can start coding right away. 
For fun, type print hello and hit the run button. You'll see hello pop up below. Awesome, right? When you're done, don't forget to save your work. Just click on file and then save notebook. I'm naming mine my notebook, but you can give it any name you like. Finally, let's check your saved file. Go back to the folder you created on your desktop or wherever you saved it, and you'll find a .ipnb file. You can open this file again in Jupyter or even in an IDE like Visual Studio Code. And there you have it. You've successfully installed Jupyter Notebook and created your first Python notebook. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell for more Python, Java, and coding tutorials.